Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest V. Last time, uh, we decided to uh, take a little break, so we came to the space bar and uh, met up with Captain Bork here. We insulted him, so he challenged us to a uh, uh, battleship in space. I forget what it was called exactly. Anyway, um... Also, last time I put my ships down, but I completely neglected the fact that there are actually three different sectors. And so I put them all in this one small space. I was like, dang, there's barely any room. Well, there's a reason for that. So I uh, restored and kind of spread them more out. You'll see in a bit. And also off screen, I found out where his ships are. So this is going to be a pretty easy game. So, uh, spoiler alert, he doesn't have any ships in sector one. And I think this is randomized every time, so you can't just, uh... Uh, follow what I'm doing, you'll have to just do it on your own game. So he has no ships in Sector 1, and how I found out is I would send out... The, you only have two probes here. And I'd uh, send them out, and then restore, and then send some more out until I found out where everything is. And I have pictures here on my phone of all of them. So you uh, send out a probe, and it goes at a 5x5 five five radius. So let's send one right here in Sector 2. And it, you can see there's something right there. And then it's his turn. And he missed completely. So yeah, here's uh... It's not that important. As long as he doesn't destroy any ships, I'm fine. But uh, here's where I put my stuff. So uh, let's hit him. How about right here? Boom! Now you can't tell what ship it is exactly. Uh, you'll see- oh dang. Hit me already. As long as he doesn't destroy any of my ships, um, I'll be fine. If he does, though, I'll restore because I want full points. Let's just keep firing on him. Miss. Ah. Yeah, for every uh, ship he destroys, it's minus 25 points at the end here. So you want to, uh, to be 14 at 25 at the end of this. Keep going after him. Oh man. Alright. I know, it scares me that he found one of my ships so soon because he might destroy one of mine before I completely obliterate all of his. Hope that's not the case. Yeah, there's actually uh, two ships in that area. Like, you'll see what I mean in a little bit. Uh, this isn't uh, going very well for me. Alright. I guess I'm lucky he picked the largest ship to attack, because uh, there's more. Uh, it'll take him longer to uh, get to it. There's actually more because I have it all here on my. <laughs> Good stuff. Of course, now he's definitely going to hit something since he's uh, expended all his options around there. to restore and I'm just going to uh, fast forward through all this because you get the picture.
And with no hits on me, I get the last hit on him. Perfect game. My star base, ah. I won, I won! <laughs> Took a few tries, because he kept getting early hits, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Why you dirty no good? What are you doing, Cliffy? Cliffy! Jeez, he's a tough one. <laughs> What's going on here, Cliffy? Captain, that's little big crewman from the Goliath call a ship a garbage scow. I just couldn't sit there and let him get away with it. Got some news for you, Cliffy. <laughs> Cliffy, the Eureka is a garbage scow. Oh yeah, I forgot. We did have to go rubbing our noses in it. I've heard enough. Guards, place this man under arrest and toss him in the brig. Gee, wait just a minute, for you can't just. I can and did. Now just stow it, Wilco, or you'll end up alongside him. In a detention cell. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to my ship. I wouldn't want to keep the ambassador waiting. Well, at least Cliffy beat the crap out of the guy, so there we go. Gosh darn, we're the best darn garbage scow in the galaxy. Uh, well, that's not good. All right. So uh, let's uh, speak with our. If I can get back up here again, let's see, speak with our crew and see what uh, they have to suggest for us. Did you notice the alien sitting with Quirk in the upper booth when we came in, Captain? Yeah, I did see that. What about him? Well, I have an excellent memory for cranial configurations, and I'd swear it was the same creature we saw in that transmission we intercepted. Oh, yeah. Interesting. What are you supposed to be doing with Quirk? I haven't any idea. What do you think, Jewel? Wait, it's me. I didn't even see the guy when we came in. Hmm. What do you have to say? Why did you say, uh-oh, here we go again, when we came to the bar? Bluffy had a slight misunderstanding with a crew member from the Intrepid the last time we came in here. What do you mean by slight misunderstanding? Apparently, Cliffy made some colorful speculations about this crew member's parentage. <laughs> but he proceeded to make some unflattering anatomical references. Get the idea. Males, you can't live with them, and sometimes you can't even house train them. Why, that reminds me of my 14th husband, Vlad. He was always brawling. But Captain doesn't have time to listen to what are your fascinating personal narratives right now, Flo. He has to figure out how to get Cliffy out of the slammer, right, sir? Uh, yeah. Oh boy. See, I told you the captain wasn't a complete closet case flow. I'm with you, sir. Let's go blast him out. That's a fun idea, Drew, but it would draw too much attention. There's gotta be a better way. So what can we do? I don't know. Let's, uh, make some sea monkeys while we think. Space monkeys. Back to the hydro space monkeys given to you by the sales beast at the space bar. Small label at the bottom reads warning do not allow contents of package to mix with alcohol. I wonder why that is. Aw, look at the little guys.
Who's the one who let all the dang space monkeys loose? <laughs> Look at these things. Uh oh. That might provide a good distraction there. I love these things. Alright, let's uh go over to where Clippy's being held. So I'm outside the airlock on an EVA and I hear the phone ring. I've got to climb inside of the airlock, decontaminate, climb out of the pressure suit, and run to the phone. I hate that. Turns out it's one of these new phone companies wanting to switch galactic long distance characters, er, carriers. He's talking about these big savings I can get if I just switch from Sprint to TTNA's Friends and Aliens plan. TTNA's. Can you believe it? What'd you tell him? I'd say no way, it isn't just isn't worth it. She's an obvious sprint plug here. Alert, alert, alert. Come on, let's go see what it is. Maybe we'll get it to beat somebody up. <laughs> and while they run past... Let's check this thing out. Bright of controls including those where the force field are operated from this console. Alright, so if we do that, I believe we can get through. This prison cell. There he is. Cliffy. Boy, am I glad to see you come. You got yourself in a fine predicament this time, Cliffy. I'm sorry, Captain, but it wasn't my fault. I know, Cliffy, I know. You're not going to just leave me here to rot in this tiny cell for the rest of my life, are you? Of course not, Cliffy. The Eureka isn't going anywhere without her chief engineer. Heck, nobody else can figure out half the jury-rigged contraptions you've installed. It's nice to feel needed, Captain, sir. I just add that captain in there, I don't know why. Now all we have to do is get you out of here. Any ideas? Not a one, sir. Maybe you can find something that'll get through these bars. Be ca but be careful, there's mighty cramped quarters in here. And I'd like to make it out in one piece. So yeah, no explosions, I guess. That will have absolutely no beneficial effect on the lock mechanism. That will not be of any help. Hmm, so what do we do? Well, perhaps we can burn through at these bars. <laughs> Where you go, Spike? I guess that I guess that little beastie is good for something after all, sir. I guess when we got these little guys drunk in the alcohol, they just start fornicating like crazy. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. depressing.
<laughs> My windshield wiper was that effective. I'm receiving a coded transmission from Starcon, sir. We are ordered to proceed to Clorox 2 for an auxiliary garbage retrieval mission, sir. Alright, Clorox 2. But uh, before we do that, do you guys have anything new to say? <laughs> Looks like we're stuck with another crummy job again. Are you really surprised, sir? Nope, just thought they might give us a break. Frat chance. By the way, Captain, what you did for Cliffy back at the station, it was really great. Sir, a lot of commanders would have just left him there to rot. And that the diversion with the space monkeys. Very creative, sir. It was pretty brilliant, wasn't it? Now don't get all puffed up on me, Captain, or I'll have to go smack you upside the head. <laughs> Alright then, fair enough. Flo's have been looking at me kind of strangely lately. You wouldn't have any idea why, would you? I really couldn't say, Captain, but I think she's very taken with the way you handled the situation back there on the space station, confidentially. Oh, confidentially. I think she kind of likes you. Oh, oh, that's, uh, something. Tell me about your mother, Drool. I'd prefer to keep our mother out of this, sir. Though I must admit I've entertained some rather amusing speculations about your progenitors. Okay, mother. How can I help you, Captain? Uh, what do you know about Clorox 2? Not much, Captain, just that it's a small colony on the fringe of the G6 Quadrant. The name seems to ring a bell somewhere, but I can't quite place it. Why don't you go to the back and lie down? I'll bring a cup of hot tea and give you a back rub while you think about it. Huh? Y you want to give me a what? A back rub, sir. You know, lie down and I'll start with your shoulders and work my way down. Much nudge, wink, wink, sir. I think Flo's opinion of you has altered somewhat, Captain. Uh, d no, no thank you, Flo. I think I'm fine for now. Oh dear. You have a cute butt for an uptight white boy, sir. <laughs> oh jeez. Maybe I should have given her a stereotypical ghetto black girl accent, but I'm not sure I could pull that off. And I'd probably be very offensive in the process. Uh, do you think we'll get in trouble for that little accident back at the space bar? I certainly hope not, Captain. By the way, that was a very brave thing you did back at the space bar. I just love the way you took charge of the situation. It gave me moose bumps. M moose bumps? They're like goose bumps, only bigger. I see. Let's, uh, yeah. You ever do it regalian style, Captain? I can't say that I have, Flo. Once you had green, you'll know what I mean, sugar. <sighs> um, uh, what were our last orders again? Starkin has orders to proceed to Clorox 2 for an auxiliary garbage pickup, Captain. Okay. So, uh, let's do that. So Clorox 2, and the coordinates for this one are 90210. Board notes locked in, sir. Ready to get underway. Alright. Light speed. Aye, sir. And away we go. More awkward silence as I try to think of something to talk about. Yeah, how you liking uh, Psychonauts? It's a good series too, you should check it out. I'm currently doing that one. 
probably record another episode tomorrow. Get back to the uh, main story and stop collecting stuff for a little bit. There we go. We're appropriating our approaching our destination, Captain. Approaching. All right. So let's go regular speed. Hi, right, sir. And there she is. That's strange. I'm not tracking a waste beacon. Maybe we should investigate. That's odd. I can put her from the orbit and take a closer look, Captain. Yeah, let's try that. Standard orbit, aye. So here we are at Clorox 2, but uh, where's that garbage we're supposed to pick up? Well, let's explore a little more next time on Let's Play Space Quest V. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.